Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial on Wi-Fi Designer. Cambium Networks provides a free online Wi-Fi network design tool called Wi-Fi Designer. This free cloud-based application is accessible from almost any browser and allows you to quickly define your wireless infrastructure. Wi-Fi Designer takes into account the unique multi-radio architecture of Xerus access points. And because the application is developed by Cambium, we are able to make updates as new products come out. This short video will demonstrate how easy it is to design your Wi-Fi network using Cambium's Wi-Fi Designer. So let's get started. To find Wi-Fi Designer, open up your web browser and go to cambiumnetworks.com and then go to Products and Software. Scroll down a bit and you'll see a link for Wi-Fi Designer and Wi-Fi Inspector. And then click the Login to Wi-Fi Designer button. If you have not yet registered as a Wi-Fi Designer user, go ahead and click the Register as New User button. You'll be asked to put in some basic information, such as your first and last name, your email address, a password, a city, a phone number, and the type of user. Then click the Register User button. If you already have an account in Wi-Fi Designer, just enter your email address and the password and click Login. Wi-Fi Designer is designed to be very easy to use. The toolbar up at the top allows you to save your map, change settings on the map, undo or redo your previous actions, add or remove access points, you can scale your map, and you can draw walls on the map. On the left side of the map, you can add new maps and remove existing maps. Well, I'll start by adding a new map. I'll give my map a name and notice the environment type. If I need to produce a map very quickly, I can select the environment type. The system will apply an attenuation factor to the entire map based on the type of environment I choose. Using this method provides an easy and quick way to draw the Wi-Fi environment, but will not be as accurate as if I were to draw in the walls and other obstacles. For this map, I'll select the cubicles. And then I can start with an empty floor plan or I can upload my own floor plan. The first thing I want to do is set a scale to my floor plan. So I will need to know the distance between two points on this floor plan. If I do not know the distance, well then I will use a doorway, which is typically three feet. So to start, I click the scale button, and then I go to a point on the map where I want to start, and I click release, and then drag, and click and release again. I happen to know that's 30 feet. Notice at the bottom of the map, we have this RSSI map scale. I want to draw my map to a spec of NEG65. Anything less than a NEG65 signal, I do not want to show up on my map. The next thing I'll do before I start drawing the map is to change the band type. Under heat map options, I'll click change and I'll select 5 GHz because I know that if I design a network for the 5 GHz band, it will typically cover the 2.4 GHz band as well, but at least this is a good starting place for me. So now I'll start to drop in access points. I'll click the Add Access Points button. And notice that both CN Pilot and Xerus Access Points are available on this list of access points to choose from. I'll start off by selecting two XD4 240s. And I'm going to place these near the conference room where I'm going to have higher densities of user devices. And now I'll select a couple of E600s. 
and place those on my map. And then I'll add a couple of XD2 240s. Okay, from a quick glance, I can see that I have my network covered at least to a spec of NEG65. Now what I can do is I can click on an access point and see the radio configurations. Well, remember with the Xerus 4 radio access points, these radios are software configurable. So let me click on a radio and I can see that this radio is in monitor mode. Well, I want to change that to 5 gigahertz mode. I can rotate this access point so that the 2.4 GHz radio is pointing towards the outside of the building and the 5 GHz radios are all facing the inside of the building. And I'll do the same for all of my access points. Okay, well that looks pretty good in the 5 GHz band. Let's see what it looks like in the 2.4 GHz band. Again, that looks pretty good. And then I can view both bands together. Not too bad. And the last thing I need to do is to save this map. Now I'll show you how to use Wi-Fi Designer when you need a more accurate map. I'll start by adding a new map and I'll actually start with the same map but this time I'll draw in the walls so we can get a better feel for the actual attenuation factors of the environment. So I need to scale my map. I'll set my RSSI level to NEG65 and I'll change my heat map options to only show the 5 GHz band. Now I need to add the walls. To do that, I'll click the drop down and notice the different types of walls we have. Each one of these walls will assign a different attenuation factor based on industry standard attenuation factors for that type of wall. So I'll start with cubicles. And then I can choose whether I want to draw single walls or multiple jointed walls. And then I just click, drag, click again, and so on and so on. And when I'm done, I right click. I can choose a different type of wall and this time I'll select a brick wall. So what I'll do now is fast forward as I draw in the rest of the walls and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so I have the walls drawn in. Now I'll start placing access points on the map. And now I'll adjust the radios and the rotation. Okay, after repositioning the access points, I now have at least NEG65 coverage over the entire map using the same six access points. Now I'll check this with the 2.4 band. 
and that looks good and I'll look at it on both bands okay I'm happy with this design so let me save it and now I can have this design as well as the bill of materials emailed to myself by clicking the email button I've just opened the automated email sent to me from the Wi-Fi Designer application. It starts off with the cover letter and a message. It includes the floor plan with the heat map and the access points in place. It also includes the bill of materials. Okay, well that's all I have for you in this short demonstration on how easy it is to design your Wi-Fi network using Cambium's Wi-Fi Designer. Thank you for your time and have a great day.